Yes, that's right. You have a second brain, which has same amount of neurons as the cat's brain. And most of people don't know how to use it in their advantage. When I was a teenager, for me, a great problem was to actually feel something other than being sleepy. I was tired after school. I was tired before school. I was tired in evening, morning and basically all day. And I couldn't tell myself that I did something wrong because all day I was doing some productive activities like studying, going to some extra lessons, piano playing or even reading books or working out. So basically it wasn't a thing which I was doing wrong, but still I felt all day very lazy even though I was a teenager. And for a very long time, I couldn't find a reason for this. So my daily habit was to after school buy and eat two tables of chocolate. You might say it's a lot and yes, it was a lot every day. It wasn't a single day when I was going back from school and I didn't went to that one particular shop and buy two packets of chocolate and didn't eat them all. And at that time, I didn't even have idea how strongly it's connected my brain with my bowel. But it appeared that we have same amount of neurons in our bowels as in the brain of a cat. And moreover, our brain with bowels are strictly connected with something which is called good brain axis. And actually 90%, 90% of all information sent by this axis is sent from our bowels to our brain. So you can easily notice that it's really something what you should care about in terms of health and in terms of the health of your brain. You have to also notice that our microbiota and cells in our bowels are responsible to produce incredible amount of neurotransmitters which are responsible for healthy work of our brain. For example, did you know that it produces 90% of all human serotonin which is responsible for our mood, sleep and also appetite? It also produces dopamine which is of course very important neurotransmitters in terms of our motivation. It's one of the most important neurotransmitters and also the biggest amount of it in our bodies it's actually made inside of our bowels and sent to brain by a blood another transmitter which is produced in our bowels is GABA which is responsible to make us calm and stop processes that we can finally rest and of course hormones CCK GLP-1 ghrelin very important hormones which send information to your brain about the state of your body so maybe you could notice that I committed terrible mistake in terms of the health of my bowels I ate incredible amount of sugar and of course sugar has a great impact of our microbiota because as you might know there are some bacteria which love to eat sugars for example E. coli and trust me you don't want this organism to be a dominant in your bowels if you consume daily great amount of sugar as I did you can easily destroy your microbiota and make bad bacteria to just explode and reproduce all the time instead of the good ones which are making vitamins and good hormones in your microbiota. So instead of damage your digestive system, you can also destroy your very delicate balance inside of your brain. Because of incredibly high amount of neurons inside of your digestive system which are connected to your brain, we still don't know exactly functions of all of them. But we already know by, for example, by keeping your microbiota bad quality, by addicting yourself to sugars, you can change your type of behavior because your type of bacteria, which love to eat sugars, actually change the information which is sent to our brain, which will make you crave sugar much more than if you had healthy microbiota. So how to do this? Eliminate highly processed, full of sugars food from your diet. Highly processed foods, have also another disadvantage for your digestive system because did you know that we actually discovered that our body cannot digest a highly processed food with such speed as normal food which is just not so processed and because of that this type of bad bacteria which are responsible for decomposition without an oxygen increase rapidly what can also cause to even worse types of problems in your microbiota which will be then also a problem for your brain. So how to care about your microbiota? First of all, eat fermented foods. For example, very good example is kimchi or any other fermented food which you can get in your country. Fermented cucumbers, fermented peppers, and this kind of food can actually support your microbiota and provide to you this microorganism which will actually help you to digest and make your microbiota again this type which it should be. Another step is to remember about fiber. Fiber is extremely important for the health of our bowels, so just make sure that you eat enough of vegetables, 
fruits and other kinds of foods which contains a lot of fiber. You support movements inside of your bowels which will help them just to stay healthy and don't reproduce bacteria which are not healthy for you. You should make it a habit because one time action won't give you too much but if you every day for example to your dinner remember to eat something which is fermented like kimchi you eat a dinner and you put kimchi on your side just to remember to eat this or you eat vegetables and fruits with every your meal it is a habit which can actually change the health of your brain and your balls at the same time and the last step be careful about your coffee all societies are now addicted from caffeine but actually you can check researches how coffee influence to health of your bowels and how it influence to your microbiota because you can be shocked how acids which are inside of coffee can change your digestive system of course to the worst side thank you for watching subscribe please because we are still in the beginning of our youtube journey and we need your support so you can also like subscribe anything you want ciao ciao